It, it was very much the, the Brendan that I've come to know and love in the studio, which is um, like a, a, a funny, fast-paced kind of um, a hyperactive, almost like childlike fascination with music, but with uh, virtuoso capabilities on gear and instruments and stuff. So that's just fun when you're around somebody like that. Um, but I got used to him playing uh, a very sort of producer, quote unquote, role with Incubus in that he was sort of managing five dudes whose all, ideas were all kind of spilling out at any given time in one room and everybody kind of, you know, that weird kind of politicking that goes on when you're writing music as a band. It's probably a lot more challenging, but he's really good at it. He really knows what he's doing. He's done it for a long time for a lot of bands that um, actually made Incubus want to be a band, whether it was Pearl Jam, Rage Against the Machine, or um, Stone Temple Pilots, you know, any number of bands that he's uh, successfully helped, you know, navigate <laughs> onto the tarmac or off for that matter. Um, so this time was interesting because it was just him and I and Tom Swarovski, who's an um, uh, engineer that he's been working with for a long time. And uh, Tom is one of the best engineers in the business, so he makes that part really easy as well. He just kind of knows how to make it sound awesome. Um, and Brendan and I just, there was some, something, there was just some kind of magic there, whether it was just timing and we were both in the right spot to collaborate in a new way, or whether it was like destined, maybe we're like, you know, destined to be like songwriting partners, I don't know. I actually don't care, it was just really fun and I'm really glad that we did it. And we're probably gonna start writing music again sometime soon just because it was enjoyable and fruitful.